I'm pregnant, but now I'm having regrets on my decision. My husband and I got married recently, and we're both in our late 20s. We always wanted kids, but we weren't trying to get pregnant yet. We thought we weren't ready, but then I found out I was pregnant, and we were both scared. We even looked into ending the pregnancy. But after thinking about it, I decided I wanted to keep the baby. My husband supported my decision and said he was okay with whatever I chose. When we told our families, they were super excited, especially his mom, because she's going to be a grandma for the first time. Being pregnant isn't what I expected. It's not the morning sickness or other symptoms that are getting to me. It's just how I feel about my body. I feel gross and self-conscious about all the changes happening. I thought I'd get more excited as my baby grew, but honestly, I'm feeling more down. I'm sad that my life is changing in ways I can't control. I miss the freedom to do things I love, like camping, hiking, and road trips with my husband. Now, having a baby feels like a huge obstacle that's going to make everything more complicated. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to giving birth. I'm actually thinking about having a C-section, even though my doctor says I'd be fine delivering naturally. Most women think I'm crazy for wanting to miss out on the experience, but I just don't care about feeling the baby come out. I don't want to go through the pain and discomfort. I'd rather just go to sleep and wake up when it's all over. The idea of experiencing the miracle of life doesn't appeal to me at all. I just want to skip to the part where I get to hold my baby in my arms. I'm not feeling excited about the baby's arrival. To be honest, I'm worried that my life will become all about the baby and nothing else will matter for a long time. I'll have to say goodbye to relaxation and spontaneity. I won't be able to do what I want when I want anymore. Everything will revolve around the baby's needs. It's not about me and my husband exploring and having adventures together anymore. Now, it's about making sure this tiny person survives and thrives. That's a big responsibility and it's overwhelming me. Now, I'm having regrets about my decision to keep the baby. Sometimes I wish I had chosen a different path. I feel like I'm a bad person for even thinking this way and that I'll probably be a terrible mom because of these feelings. I'm scared that I'm not cut out for this and that I'll fail my child in some way. These thoughts are making me feel guilty and anxious and I don't know how to deal with them. The few people I've opened up to, including my husband, seem to think that once I give birth, something will just click and I'll suddenly fall in love with my baby. They expect me to forget all my doubts and regrets, but honestly, I'm starting to wonder if that's really going to happen. I've always thought that becoming a mom would be a dream come true, but now I'm not so sure. I feel like there's something wrong with me because I'm not feeling the way I thought I would. I'm scared that I'll never feel that connection with my child. Story 2 I'm really worried that we're going to lose our home. My wife is struggling to create a resume, and it's causing a lot of stress. She's having trouble figuring it out on her own and is refusing to accept help from others. This is a big problem because we need her to find a job to support our family and pay our mortgage. Here's some background. I'm 34 years old and I've been married to my wife, who's 32, for a while now. For the past year, she's been working a high-stress management job. I've been suggesting that she start looking for a new job while she's still employed. I think this is a good idea because it'll look great on her resume and it's a tough field if she finds a new job. It'll look like the new company is winning her away from the competition. A few months ago, I asked my wife about her job search and she just shrugged it off, saying she hadn't even started writing a resume yet. I got frustrated and asked her why she didn't like her current job, and she said she felt like they were trying to get rid of her. She made excuses about not knowing how to write a resume and said she'd ask her sister for help. I tried to assist her by sending her a template from Reddit, but instead, she found some random resume online and showed it to me. Honestly, it was really bad I'd give it a failing grade. I told her to use the template I sent, but she got defensive, saying I thought her resume was terrible and didn't trust her to do it herself. Months went by, and finally, my wife started asking her sister for help with the resume. But her sister is really busy with her own job and taking care of four kids, so finding time to assist is tough. Around the same time, I was about to accept a new job that would require a lot of travel, but it came with a big pay raise. I was practically begging my wife to find another job, even if it paid less because of my new job's demands. But still, nothing happened. It looks like her company is finally moving to fire her. I'm worried that if she loses her job and doesn't have a new one lined up, we might end up homeless. 
She won't let me help her cut back on spending, and it's adding up. Like all the takeout and delivery food she orders every day because she says she's too tired from work to cook. And I'm sure there are other expenses she's not telling me about, all because she's so stressed out from a job she refuses to try to leave or find a new one. I'm at my breaking point and seriously considering divorce. I'm exhausted from feeling like I'm parenting a grown adult instead of having a partner. If we somehow manage to get back on our feet and keep our home, maybe we can work on fixing our marriage. But for now, I've lost trust and respect for her. I feel like I've been carrying the weight of our responsibilities alone and it's taking a toll on me. Story 3 I'm starting to feel really annoyed with my boyfriend's best friend and it's affecting our relationship. To make things easier, I'll call his best friend E. I've been with my boyfriend for a pretty long time, but E has disliked me since the moment we met. He's had a problem with me from the very beginning. At first, my boyfriend explained that E had social anxiety and struggled with meeting new people, which made sense to me. So, I gave E some space and tried to be understanding. But then, E started bringing up my boyfriend's ex-girlfriends and how much he missed them. I was told that E only talked about them when I was around, which made it even weirder. When I told my boyfriend how uncomfortable it made me, E still kept making comments about the exes for a while before finally stopping. Recently, E's behavior has gotten even worse, and I'm starting to wish I never met him. Being around him makes me feel anxious and stressed. Whenever I have to talk to him, I get tense and my heart beats faster. Some of the things he's done recently that have really bothered me include making inappropriate comments about my body, completely ignoring me when I try to talk to him, getting jealous or upset when my boyfriend and I are on a call together before talking to him. These things have made me feel really uncomfortable and unhappy. Things have gotten even worse with E. He's been acting really passive-aggressive towards me like telling me I'm doing things wrong, implying that his way is the better way, acting like he's superior to me, like he's better than me, trying to leave me out of group events and activities that our mutual friends are doing, even trying to copy the profile picture that my boyfriend and I have on social media, which is just weird and creepy. All of this is making me feel really frustrated and uncomfortable around him. I'm just so fed up with the situation and I've tried talking to my boyfriend about it, but he feels caught in the middle. I didn't want to burden him with more stress, so I needed a place to vent about it. Honestly, E has been breathing down my neck lately, micromanaging everything I do, and criticizing me for even small mistakes in video games. I'm at my breaking point and can't take his constant nitpicking and condescending attitude much longer. 